cross we will make border crossbody bag with slide pockets on the front and detachable crossbody strap and uh, no worries if you purchase the pattern in the description you will find the link to the tutorial how to trace uh, the pattern how to cut leather details fabric details straps uh, strap and strap attachment so no worries it's all included i hope you will enjoy the making of this bag it's very nice and cute it's my best seller in my etsy store you can find the pattern in the description to this video as well and also yes you can sell the bag if you will use a hashtag and mention my account uh, without it please don't sell it i'm vulnerable to credits <laughs> so yes please enjoy the making and uh, i'm here if you have any questions we trace the pattern we cut the leather we cut the fabric now we can actually start sewing what we do first we will make the front side with the pockets for this we take short part of the fabric we apply glue and then we put this part very straight and this is half of inch and we put our top just like this and so we, now we have about half of inch on the back side now we need to stitch this one what we do now we take our pattern and we need to make these marks and we take our pocket size we are apply some glue on the back side we don't touch the, the top and now we align these marks together just like this now we take the pattern detail for the pockets and place it on the back and we make the mark this mark will be one of the stitching and now we take our three inches ruler and put it on the top so these two lines are together aligned we make long mark just like this and now we will stitch again we will start from the bottom we'll go all the way up we turn and we will go back let's go i want to finish right before the edge now we turn one stitch and we go down and now we imagine i mean we think about this stitching uh, like it's our edge and we want to be parallel to this stitching pockets are stitched and now we need to put the dome or just rivet right here now we take a nail and we need to make a hole right below the top stitch and also we need a piece of dark canvas cotton to reinforce the rivet i have a like this press for rivet spot if you don't have it you can like buy hand tool and now we are ready to make our zip closure we apply glue on the back side first let's do it just like this to glue the top zipper straight is very important because if it will be crooked um, the whole piece 
when it will be finished will look like so so and then we take our front detail and apply some glue to it as well like this not too much if it's too much spread it with your finger or with the brush whatever is comfortable for you and now we want these edges to be aligned and we slowly and carefully with no rush we place our detail along the zipper and we want to have the same gap from the zipper on both sides like this This lever is okay with it, so I just turn it over. So I take one lining detail, I apply some glue on the back. And now it's a trick. We take our detail and then we put it like this. Not like this, no folding, we don't need all this stuff. Just put it flat along the top, along the zipper edge, just like this. And now we take a few pins. And now we are ready to stitch. We will stitch from the top and along all this line and till this end. Let's go. So first needle down. Everything as usual. That's it. So we did our stitching. Now we go to the back side. We make no. Now we remove the pins and we do the same stuff with our second side. We apply some glue. We glue the edge of the fabric along and we pin again just through the fabric. Please don't pin the leather just through the fabric. And we stitch again. Now our both sides are ready. The both our parts are ready. Uh, we already made all those pockets we want our bag to have and it's awesome my congratulations on going so far uh, now we want to make sure both sides have these cards at the bottom if you miss it before that's okay just uh put the pattern on the back and make sure the cards these little cards are right here because we need them to make the folds on the bottom now we take glue and apply glue inside this card and a bit uh, like towards the center of the back and on this side as well here we go and now we do this thing we take so this is like the cut close to the center and we fold it like this and on the second we fold it again but already outwards just like this here we go the first fold is ready and the same stuff we will, we will make with this side this is the fold the close fold to the center we fold it first time and then this the second cut we fold it again just like this and we need the second clip here we go and now we want to check it if they are equal so 
so first these parts the pockets should be on the same height perfect and the cuts and the cuts on the same level i would say as well so the front is ready so that's it and also what we can do we can make the same cuts on the fabric so just small cuts with the same spots here we go for the lining we need the cuts only on one side so this is the cut and I'm just holding it. And uh, for the lining, if you have slide pockets, please make sure the gaps uh, between the pockets and the folds are the same on the both sides. So for stitching, we can apply some glue on the leather like this. Right around this edge, and ju -ju 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 -ju. in any way, drop light glue or if you did not. What we want to do, we want to clip these folds together because we want them on the same spots. And now the glue is on. stitching will be inside and if you even mess up just don't worry about it because we will fix it we always can fix it it's <laughs> if it's on the wrong side It's a bit complicated moment because it's a, I mean, on a professional one, I will just sew through. But on the home one, it can be a bit difficult, but still okay. So, if your sewing machine like mine didn't want to go through all this for. Uh, layers of leather first i want to show you how it will look on the professional sewing machine not because like the day, day look what i have no just so you know the difference uh how it would go and would not be very upset if it happened to you so let's go professional sewing machine it will look like this that's it the seam is done and now let's come back to our home sewing machine here we go probably it will go through probably it won't want to go through anymore so if it happened to you as well i mean i usually use my industrial sewing machine so i it didn't happen to me for quite a long time but here we go i decided i want to use only my phone sewing machine for the class and if it happened what to do if you're going fine just please continue uh the stitching finish and you're done Please skip the lesson. <laughs> so we start from another side. It's a trick. Here 
here we go. We are going, 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 going. And now we do like this. And we want to sew till these cuts, till the first cuts. And then back. So let's check how it looks. looks good because we sew inside the cuts inside the folds so it's kind of already okay but we need to attach somehow this part i also can you know put some rivets right there and it will work too so probably i will just put some rivets because i mean if I declare that I will use only home sewing machine for this class, I want to use uh, some other tools if my sewing machine did not want to go through. The lever probably is a bit too thick for it. I mean, two layers of leather and also like three layers of fabric probably is a bit too thick. And now what I want to do while I'm still here, I want to stitch the lining. So let's stitch the lining. We start from the top. We put both details together like this. And we start sewing. Uh, the seam allowance is about 9 millimeters or oh, half of an inch. And now here is the fold. What we do, we just make the same fold on this detail here this to the inside so now we have two equal folds and we know for sure they are in the same spot going to the end of the fold and then this uh, sewing we are sewing backwards here we go next side as well we starting from the top just make sure my details are aligned so what we do now we are going to this fold to the first one and we put both details together with no wrinkles just in case you know because i want uh, the bottom of my back to be very straight and here we go here's our fold and now i have completely clear amount of fabric i need to fold oh that's nice uh, so the bottom was very straight and neat here we go and now we are going Ta -da! please remove all the pins uh, we don't need to tie these knots because we already sew them backwards so to this side where it didn't go well i could just use my you know Fell right sewing machine, but uh, just in case if you have the same problem, I want you to know what to do with it. We already stitch inside, so on the outside it will look okay and it will be pretty durable. But I also want to add some stitching on the back side, on the wrong side. And what I can do, I can do like this I can take an owl and make nice three holes so i don't want to take stitching chisels because it's only a few stitches here we go just like this 
if you have good sewing machine i mean not good if you have sewing machine what could take all those level, level layers you took for the back it's awesome but what if the, the thickness of all layers were a bit thicker than your sewing machine would like to uh, what we can do we can just make three holes with an owl and when we take a needle and we take the thread and we go through tie a knot and here we go we are ready so we put it in the last stitch we could make okay i <laughs> I put it in the last stitch my sewing machine could make, right here, and then also I take the pliers and I pull it out, and then I put in the next one I made with an owl, and I go like this, and probably I want to do it again with an owl to make it a bit wider. There we go. So if your sewing machine did not go through all these layers, it's actually okay. It's nothing wrong with it. Uh, we can just make a few hand stitches and it's uh, fine. And it also will take maybe like 15 minutes, so not a big deal. Now I see where we will be the next stitch and I go through it again. And the last one, I mean almost the last one. Because we already have sewing on the front side. So in the front it will look all good and we just need to somehow attach the, the folds to the same spots that's why we can hand stitch and i also made double um, double thread for more durability so i wouldn't have to go twice through the same spots from the same holes that's it now i'm going back at the same holes and now I want to go and make nice knot Probably just one more time, just to seal the knot. And for all inside stitching, I always left pretty long threads, just, you know, just in case. It's, it feels more kind of safe. because the threads we can use for the sewing machines were usually pretty slicky it's polyester threads and yeah, yeah they are very smooth and if to cut them very short it can be a problem i don't want any kind of uh, problems with this let's check how it looks This side is our professional sewing machine. And this side is our institution. So kind of the same thing. And now we will work with the lining with the top and we reinforce the sides and uh, attach 
the straps and it all will be done congratulations we stitched our bag what we do now first we want to tie the knots of course <laughs> only on the leather part and now we need to work a bit with the top and to reinforce the sides for the sides we need two pieces of dark canvas cotton about three inches length and two inches height so we apply glue on both pieces and we apply glue to these parts along the stitching also we take the threads from the stitching and put them on one side we glue the seam like this to this seam So the reinforcing of the sides is done. What we do now? We apply glue along the top stitching. And now we just turn the back inside out. We put the lining on the back. On the wrong side as well like this and we press so first we kind of try to pull the lining down like this because in this case we don't need to stitch the lining you know i i don't like truly really don't like how looks always stitch <laughs> inside the lining um, and the uh, glue will help the lining to stay at this place like for good you won't believe but we're almost done now our zipper will open and close so smooth because this lining fabric will never bother it we are ready to, to turn the back on the right side and here we go our beauty is ready Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da. congratulations and now we need to attach our slider for the zipper make sure all these edges are together uh-huh, there we go, now it's all good. Now we need to cut the excessive, if you have any excessive zipper or excessive fabric, I mean, like, of course we have some excessive fabric right here, so we need to cut it off. Uh, first we are going to the lining and we want to remove all the threads till the uh, to this edge we put this thread inside like this and we cut it and now we will seal this edge for the sealing I take uh, regular cotton threads and uh, what we are doing we need to stitch together the zipper fabric, the lining, and this dark canvas cotton. There we go, one side is ready, and now the other side. It's all the same. just cut this fabric we don't need anymore 
And now we put both sides of our zipper at the same spot as the seam. So we want them to be on the same line, kind of. And the same technique. Here we go. So our bag is nicely sealed, and you see it's already right here. This shape. We already can see it. Now let's attach the side attachments. And for this, I use one and a half inches bronze rings and uh, two side attachments. So now why we did not make the holes in the attachments right away because it's very good idea to try them on first and to see if it works or not 95% it will be all good but you know just in case to make sure that you like uh, these ones and uh, you know sometimes leather has different thickness and uh, uh, on some bags you probably want to move them a bit towards the center or out of center i think this one is pretty nice and i just like it exactly like like this and exactly here and now i take a now and i do like this and i'm checking yes and the owl will go in through exactly right here and also the next one And I'm checking, yes, I feel the owl exactly right here where the attachment is. Perfect. So now I take the puncher and I want to make the holes. And here. And in the back. Also, now I need a rivets with very long bottom. And you don't like this. one attachment is ready now let's make another one so what we make sure this line between the zipper and the seam are going on the same line we can just feel it you know with our fingers and then we take our attachment we place the ring a bit behind we put the attachment right here we make sure oh, okay so yeah the sides are almost on the same level and then we fold the attachment <laughs> Here we go, all done. And now I take my press mm -hmm. and on the other side. Here we go. I want to make it detachable, so I took two lobsters and one buckle.
here we go and also we can add the stopper and we can take the same bell pleather if you want to add the stopper it's uh, like the width of the buckle multiple by three and plus about inch more it's actually four inches so yes <laughs> the length of the strap multiple by three and plus inch the stopper i want to burnish right now because it is pretty hard to burnish it when i put it on the strap here we go and now i just go like this i'm going this way and then i take a now and i make light mark i don't need to go all the way through and then i make two holes And I knit the small river. And I just put it around like this. Here we go. So these two rivets we set in as usual. But the stopper is tricky if you just will go through like this we will have a nice really nice mark on the strap and we don't want it you know nice mark like this we don't want it so i just put uh, this leather piece under the stopper and now i can put my rivet now my strap doesn't have any marks but this one is installed our bag is almost done and uh, now i want to make the zip pullers the zip puller i take this leather strip here we go eight inches and now i just fold it like this so it's about half of inch now i take a puncher and i make the hole in the middle and now we align both holes together and we take scissors and we cut 